Yeah, yeah, finish. yeah. But you see, I mean, you say if you speak English, we are civilized. Mm. You will go to China and they're speaking Chinese and they have PhDs. You go to Indonesia, Indonesia they're speaking Bahasa and they have PhDs. Mm. They're very educated. They're making some of the phones that we yes, use, yes. but they're not speaking English. Mm -hmm. So it is now us to think about our understanding of being modern, of being civilized. Mm. You're talking about huts. Mm. If you go to Karamoja, it makes no sense to stay in a, ba in a Mabati. Exactly right. a, house, a house with a Mabati. It is so hot. Mm. So it makes sense to stay in a thatched mm. or a house that has an architecture that is eco-friendly. Mm. But that is something, it, it's the way we think about, we've been educated to think about our culture as something inferior. Mm. And, and it's the responsibility of educated people like yourselves mm -hmm. and the media to start talking about culture in a way that is useful mm. and saying we can modernize our culture. We don't abandon it, but we can pick from other cultures and make our culture something that is relevant today. Sure. Well, um, the GMO bill, we... Generally, that is something that would not encourage, mm, yes. because if you want to appreciate the indigenous seed mm. and food security and the farmer's independence and control over their, their farming and the seeds that they have, mm. you'd not go GMO, mm. because GMO makes the farmer dependent on the shop, because you yes. get your seeds from the shop. And after uh, maybe two seasons, mm. the, G the seeds are no longer, you can no longer use them or you will not get the same yields that you'd have got on the first surely, planting. Surely. Mm. So having the indigenous seed, one, the, the quality of the indigenous seed is much better. You, you must agree. Yes. If yes. you eat um, a banana from Kawanda or mm. an, a banana from the, the indigenous plant, mm. the no. taste is totally different. Yeah. The yeah. taste is different. It's different. Mm. And the food value is probably different. But you talk about the yields. And so that is when you commercialize everything, mm -hmm. naturally you're going to lose. You're going to lose your value of indigenous seed. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose your value of um, the independence of the farmer. Because now the farmer is going to become um, a servant to Monsanto. Yes, okay. Monsanto, mm -hmm. all, those, <laughs> all those huge mm -hmm. um, suppliers of of GMOs. Mm. I think there is no harm in making, um, reinforcing the, 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 the resistance mm. of indigenous seed yes. rather than introducing something that is not going to, to, to be able to be replicated. Mm. And the farmer, if they don't have money, you can imagine, will be steeped in poverty. True. If the farmer yes. fails to buy seed, then you as opposed plant. to our grandparents who would say, okay, I've got this harvest, mm. 20% of my harvest is for next next season, and indeed you will get full yield from yes. your 20%, unlike the way it is today.